We found out the quarterback of the Rams, Jared Goff, shout out Jared Goff, watches our show. Hmm. He, uh, come on. No, it, we, we did. Mm. Mike asked him, it's too, too raunchy. Too he raunchy. said, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we don't, we don't blame him, but it was, it was cool. It was cool to meet him. And, uh, <laughs> it's always, it's always interesting to see who, who watches this show. I read a comment today that a 43 year old watches this show with their son or daughter frequently. So, I mean, this show in particular is it's probably a good way to relate to the kid. Who knows? Right? Who knows? Podcasts are, I'm just like, I'm kind of, uh, just confused right now. Cause I noticed Mike's going absolutely silent ever since I said he's talking. I, all I just, I, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure you get like a chance I lost to talk. My, I lost my, I just lost my co-host. <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm going to do it myself, I just, let me I know. Just, so no, I, I just, I hate when you get like that. It's so annoying. Like, I, I just, like, like we're trying, like I'm trying to talk about shit that has like a ton of meaning to me. And like, and like, you're literally like speed it up. And you're like, Dylan, speed him up, man. You're talking about yourself. Like everything you fucking talked about on the show so far has been about you. I, like li- every fuck the girl spit in my face. How, like and, how, and, I, how and, I hung out with this girl last night. I have social anxiety at the chain smokers party. Here's how I felt about this. Here's, and then I say like one thing and everything in the show has been about you, man. So like, honestly, no, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I just, I just like, yo, when you want to run a fucking, a, a, bom- a bomber ass <laughs> show, fucking kill that shit. I'm chilling here. I got texts to answer. I got emails to do. I know, I know, but that's, you're not on the show to do emails. Yeah. Or no. Well, I'm on the show to fucking be the co-host. But if you, every time I go to say something, you're like, yo, don't say anything. I'm talking here. Here's, <laughs> no, oh, I'm going to cap that. I'm going to cap that. We've, we've heard enough. No, I'm going to cap that. No, I said I'm going to cap your cap. I don't cap any caps. Just yeah, sit no cap there. Here, what do you mean? I, I, I was going to say, I was going to cap after you capped. No, I, you're capping. What I'm doing is I try, I try, I try to somehow make my life relatable so people can learn something from it. And I don't know. I just noticed there's a lot of I, 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 me, I somehow taking it back to you talk, which I don't have a problem with. Bro, there is no one on there. Long. Let's put it this way. Easiest way for you to understand it. There's no one on the show who's more relatable than me. People relate to my shit all the time. I talk about mental illness. I talk about struggle. I talk about addiction. I'm on this show to be a beacon of fucking relatability. I don't need to do anything. People are like, yo, I see what this kid's going through. I can relate to that. Yo, I think- So I don't understand what the fuck you're talking about right now. To me, it seems like Mike does a lot of like emotional vetting on the show where he's completely like just pouring out his heart about the situations that happen where you're like kind of presenting- Storytelling. Yeah. Concept of what happened. I I don't mind it. I just think- Today, today, it's it's you dragged it on a little bit, and maybe I'm wrong. I'd love to hear in the comments, like, am I am I wrong here, or is was it a little too me me me? I I'm saying on? I'm saying it was the exact opposite. Well, I'm saying I mean, it was also, like you were just like yo, and I like also I just I don't have any appetite for this discussion right now. It's no, not stimulating me just, in any way, just, shape, or just, form. Just read the sign, I, bro. Honestly, but I, dude, what do you want to do? Then then yo. Kill the episode, bro. See ya. Like, Fuck, he's I'm, walking. I'm he's the second guest. He's the he's the second guest to walk. Smoke it, bro. I'm, this is, I have no problem answering it fucking email. Let's watch the Spencer UFO video. Oh, Dylan, we're in the middle of a thing. I don't give a fuck about UFOs right now. <laughs> Mike is sitting on the love sack. Shout out love sack. Um, it seems that he's flustered, but I do hope that he comes back to the show because I love Mike's talking. He has a lot that he wants to say. He's definitely distraught about the Kobe thing. He's definitely caught up in his emotions. He wants to protect you, man. He's like a I big know, brother. I know, I know. About the spitting thing, man. He's sad about it. He didn't like it. And he didn't. He probably doesn't feel like he got to do enough. No, I, I, I know, I know. I'm just talking about this episode in particular. I have like mm-hmm. a weird, um, <clears throat> a weird radar for like when I'm, when it's, when it's like a short attention span, when it's time to move on. Ah. Like ADD in a way. And I think yeah. that's, I think that's why I, love making content and doing what I'm doing in storytelling because yeah. out of the next kill your darling. This one's tough because you're balancing the long form podcast with like keeping it quick too. like the attention span for impulsive, you know, derivative word, impulsive, keeping it quick and jumping around. Yeah, like yeah. I totally see that. We definitely did go a little bit long on all those topics. That's what I thought. But that's my opinion. That's okay. What else? What else is fun? Are there fun things going on? Yeah. Um, Mike Malax on the show today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh, this is weird. Who is that? <laughs> uh, all right, all right. I, I, I had a couple more things, but I'm gonna be honest. Is Mike's energy just fucked me up? If should you could we, tell. Should we reconcile on air? I mean, I'm down. Should we reconcile? It was just like can a note. It was just, it was just a note. Bro, it's not a fucking. Hey, Mike, can, Mike can bring those out, Pesca. I'm not even. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. That's completely. I'm not even mad. You're a fascinating character, Mike. Oh, I'm not even mad. I just, I just like, it's a timing thing. It's like. 
I don't, I just don't want to, if it's going to be like every time I say something, I'm just, just cut me off. Like I could, I could be, do, be doing more meaningful shit from the love sack, dude. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. Just let what's me more, fucking, what's just more let meaningful me, than this? Just let me finish what, what my fucking do? thoughts. Dude. What did you do over there? I got a response from the YouTuber about the spitting girl. Oh, what'd he say? He said he would have hocked a fucking hat, fat loogie in that Yeesh, cunt's face. Well, actually, hold on. Let me read it. Oh, Mike, I like that you put everything parallel to the side of the, uh, he said, I said, what would you have done? He said, spit the fattest fucking loogie right back in the cunt's face. Zero question about a fucking loser. I hate that bitch. Oh my God. And I think wow. that's, and I think that's probably the, that would be the general consensus of I think so the too. majority. I think people, so too. Which I'm, was why I was so proud of your reaction to it. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you talked about the fucking coronavirus, bro. Why? Because I want to talk about the fucking Corona. It's well, a, maybe it's it's a good but now I don't. But now I don't want to talk about it. Did you know that Corona is consistently rated as the worst tasting beer? That's not true. Yeah. That can't possibly be true. I'm very it's not even a bad fucking beer. It's a great beer, but you, look it up. It's considered you, like one of the worst tasting beers. You know, how, you, you know that's how you get the coronavirus. No. Yeah, you drink. Don't spread false information. Can you imagine people their might, stock just There goes are people down. watching this that probably will not drink Corona. That. I wouldn't do it. We should go to like Costa Rica and drink some Corona. Bro, Corona with limes in it is not a bad beer. There's no way that Swayze say song. It's a bad beer. Modelo. What about uh, Medaya in Puerto Rico? You guys ever had that? 90 cent. You don't drink beer. You like ever. beer. I love beer. I like IPAs, though. Uh, this <clears> one's <throat> like the opposite of an IPA. It's like water with, like, if you could have, like, you know, those drops that you put in water to make it flavored? It's like if you had those and you put beer flavored. Yeah, Mio. Drops Mio. Or yeah. Beer. It's one of those. <laughs> Me but it's like beer flavored. It's pretty, pretty horrible. But it's like 50 cents. So it's really good. 50 cents. I like him. He's a good rapper. <laughs> He did, makes great diss tracks. I heard you guys talk about diss tracks. Yeah. Such a... <laughs> <laughs> I heard you guys talk about diss tracks. Yeah, because you were over there <laughs> and not over here. <laughs> well, bro, dude. Oh, like, bro, dude. Fuck? Did you have any notes from me? No, I How didn't. How about you guys face each other and talk this one out? No, I am. I am. I'm sitting normal. It's not even... I don't have notes, bro. This is so lame. I can't believe we're in this situation. <laughs> I love it's a it. fucking, I love it's it. an hour to an hour and a half podcast, bro. People are watching it. Some like what I have to say. Some people think I'm a fucking weird, old, loud mouth, interrupting asshole. Tell them about that. I'll tell them about that story that happened. I'm definitely not going to be telling them about that story because it involves me talking about me. <laughs> and so there's no fucking way I'm telling it. I'll tell the story. Go. Tell <laughs> We're outside a, a restaurant in San Francisco waiting to get dinner. Some girl comes up. She's like, oh my God. I love your podcast. Then she sees Mike and she goes, you, I fucking love your big mouth. And I was like, oh my God. She, and I was like, I was like, wait, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? She's like, I love his big mouth. I love when he talks of everything he has to say. I was like, this is amazing. I go, what, how often do you watch a show? She's like, she goes, I've watched 130. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you wasted that much time. Oh, it's Another just, tally. Wait. And then, and then I was like, Okay, like what's your what's what's the, your favorite moment? She's like, well, I don't know. I only listen to them. She only oh. listens to the audio. Wow, there you go. She's never seen them. She either drives she knows, a lot or works out a lot. She, so she hears Mike's voice, but and you have a radio voice. And by the way, you're Podcast right. You're right. Version. That's why I just like, please comment. Am well, I in the like, wrong here? I'm no, not no, it's not even wrong. that. The, the place where you're in the wrong, and I hate to bring it back to such a solemn situation, is th this podcast is successful because it's a great team effort and co to back to Kobe to bring it full circle. When he walked don't off, you I'm sorry. No, no, no. Don't you fucking when do he this. Would put don't, 60, don't, when he do would not put, do this. When he would put do 60, not do this. When he would put 60 buckets down, he would never walk off the 60 points. In the I, basket. I can't say anything. He would never now. walk off the court and go, see that name on the back. That's why we've got this dub. Yeah, but it's, it's, I, I, it, just don't talk for a sec. Dylan, just sit there and shut up. Dylan, shut the fuck up. No please, party. please. I'm, I'm saying something. Now I'm back again. I'm being interrupted again. Okay. You don't point at the fucking rafters or the scoreboard that has your name on it on a show that has more than one person. It's, it's not, it's not the I, proper I agree. behavior. It, it was, it was a simple rebuttal to you saying we've only talked about me. I, yes, I know. And it's a shit rebuttal. This sh people don't, people watch a show for various reasons. They watch a show because it's a conversation between people. About what? Anything? Anything uh, stuff that happens in our lives, stuff that happens in our lives, macro issues, guests, I, all I, kinds I, of stuff. I, I agree with that. I was commenting. Oh, are we back? It's a it. conversation on a, Is it a hour I'm plus down, podcast. I'm down. Why are you rushing? Wait, who cares if we're back? Just talk. That that's another issue. It's like you're bringing up like. Attention spans like we got to get. This is not a vlog. This isn't a four minute yeah, vlog. But, yeah, but people. Joe people, Rogan has four and a half hour podcast. 
two of the hours of it are dead silence. I didn't, people just I didn't sitting know we're there. following the model we're not, of Joe Rogan. We're not, so but just be mindful that people have an attention span to listen to this show. They're not rushing. They're not five minute vlogs. They put it on in their headphones while they're at work and they fucking listen to it. If we go off for one minute or if I go a minute too long, you don't need to cap that. I understand. I get boredom as much as you do. I feel it too. We're talking about important emotional issues. I don't think anyone out there is getting bored of me getting fired up and almost crying about something. Trust me. No, I wasn't talking about that part. And by the way, I I don't disagree with you. I guess I'd just like to optimize so of we course, know when to move course, on. Of course. So we know that like I'm going to say something and if I start to say something that either A is nothing to do with this, B is too me centric, C people are going to get bored of it or it's already been said. Like I, I try to optimize and cut out of all course, the fat. Of course. And that, and that's what I was commenting on more than I, I, I just, I just like, I, w I almost wish like this, this could be a good exercise. If there was like a button I could press when I felt a, a topic was getting dry. I, you don't have to, I've done 150 episodes with you. I understand that. I know when it's being dry. Unfortunately, your movement today on topics and your fat cutting cut only one piece of fat, and that was my top my feelings on shit. You you jumped I know, in I multiple just felt like times, you already, like said it, and just getting too worked up. All right, up well, like a, I mean, the over swearing I'm sensitive to as well. Like I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm fucking. I I really want to turn towards the audience in this one. It's fine. That's fine, dude. And the audience gonna it. It's all it's all fine. There's no there's no big thing. It's just it's just. It's not a huge thing. It's just like from, let it from go. this side of the table. It <laughs> seems like Logan was trying to keep things moving, and in his like present state, he attacked your character as opposed to like trying to just keep things moving in a positive way. Mm. It, just, not, it, it, it came out like seeming like an attack on you, mm. and it was more just like general. Hey, this is. It kind of seems like this is not going in a direction that we haven't already gone. I'm not Let's upset. Of, I'm not upset about anything. It's all note. fine. That's a good note. It's all. It's all. I'm not upset. It's fine. It's it's a ma It's just a matter of like. Do you guys <laughs> love each other? Yeah. It's just well, a matter. We always love each other. Of course. It's just right. a matter too of like. Unfortunately, we've gotten to a point where, and this is where he could technically point at the sign. Uh -huh. We've gotten to a point where we probably have a little bit of creative difference on when it's time to move on. Too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he's the content creator. Technically, it is his show. Not technically, it's his show. And so, at the end of the day, like if he feels bored on a topic. I may not feel bored on a topic. These might be, these are ma massive to me, massive macro yeah. issues. Coronavirus could be an hour and 50 minute conversation. I understand that's not our platform, but like when we're one and a half minutes over on a topic or 30 seconds over on a topic, sometimes I'm like, all right, let, let it breathe. If you, you think, if you say something five times in a row, I'm not going to be like, let's move on. Yeah. Do you think that would be he, he, he might. like those conversations would be a good place uh, to be a good place to have those would be on the night shift overtime. <laughs> I don't fuck it. It's funny actually because my episodes in Night Shift are 45 minutes long. His vlogs are five. Yeah. It's indicative of what we think people's attention spans are. I get it. My watch rate is 65%. People mm -hmm. watch my show for 30 fucking minutes because they want to watch me talk. I've heard it from them all the time. They're like, I don't care what you even say. Yeah. Just sit in so, front of a camera so and that's fucking what's happening. talk. You're talking to your audience that listens facts, to you facts. and you're talking to your audience it's that listens bad. to you. Yeah, it's tricky. So you guys have to find a middle ground. We have. It's called impulsive. Oh my God. It is. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. We got this got way carried away. Today. Hey, wait. There's going to be people out there that don't like me. There's people out there that love my big mouth. Uh-huh. At the end of the day, I usually or always, by the way, yield to the fact that it is his show. It is your show. And you, and, and by the way, I know when you're getting bored of shit and I'm gone. Bro, I could be, right. bro, I could be so fucking wrong. And in fact, you're not, I, I, think you I no, I want to be, <laughs> I, I, bro, being wrong is one of my favorite things ever. Cause then I learned shit. Mm -hmm. That's a Socrates thing. I just read that in a book on the mountain ranch. Mike, would you ever consider commentating horse racing? <laughs> And here comes the number three horse, uh, shining sh shoe shiner is coming out of the gates a little fast today. He obviously had a little bit too much Cheerios to eat. The sugar is running through his blood, but here comes Spadakly Dakalis. No, I don't, I, don't think I, I don't think I have it, bro. Talk to Vantines about that one. That'd be good. Well, f you know what? Fuck this episode. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also just don't know that there's also like right and wrongs either. Like, I feel like it's it, like mm, sometimes it usually is. No, 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 shit like this. Like, it's like it's just creative shit, dude. It's like we're sitting at a fucking table that's in the shape of a dead bird talking about fucking it's not <laughs> coronavirus. Is it like it's like I don't fucking dead. know. His fucking spirit isn't like, dead. did we go 36 seconds? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know if we went over. Where's the, where's the, do we have to do the <laughs> scientific method? Who's got the dependence? Who's got the independence?
Do we have a thesis? Like, or are we just three fucking morons talking about fucking a bunch of pop hey. culture on a dead bird table? <laughs> like, I don't fucking know. You're hurting my feelings, bro. He's, he's not. I'm not ready for that. Oh, I'm not, bro. He's that a, was an olive branch. He cut that it was off. An olive dude. Branch. He's my fucking he's my child. He's my he's not a dead bird. I mean, I guess he is. No, I don't. <laughs> he's a great bird, dude. He's dead. He's <laughs> dead now, bro. He's dead. I'm getting another fucking bear. A African gray bear. Oh, God. African gray. He can speak a thousand words. He's gonna say something like this. Fuck you, motherfucker. Are you gonna take care of the parrot? Yeah, duh. I take care of all of my pets. Yeah. Do you think you could trade him to Tell us when we've gone too far on the top. <laughs> like to the channel the when, when the bird span. when the bird is bored, he goes, he goes, ah, fucking stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just have to move on. See that? Oh, wait. What if there's a third party involved, and it's not me or you? That's like that pushes the move on button. Oh, like what if it's the producer? It, it, he like, sort of does that. Do he, when I can, when, he, Dylan will look at me like this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I understand. And it's usually at the same time. Hi, right, bro. We're, fuck this. We're done. I, I'm going to go deal with Mike and talk to Mike off camera. For everyone who wants to know what it's like, and we argue after the show, we do. And we're going to have a 30 to 60 minute debrief. Whoa, but, whoa hold on a second. No fucking way today. 30, I, I how about 30 to 60 to say, seconds? Seconds, yeah. I have things to say. And it's going to be recorded and posted on Logan's vlog channel. <laughs>